Heavy snow is hitting parts of the central U.S. areas of Missouri under a winter storm warning until later tonight. In Columbia, Missouri, dozens of workers busy trying to keep the roads clear, as you can imagine. In the meantime, Milwaukee has an unusual break from heavy snow this winter. Still. Still, Kristen Crochet, where is all our snow? South of here. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I, mean, I guess we just answered that question. Yeah. Is this like a jet stream thing? Like we're caught underneath the pattern or is it just like... I don't know like... that there's really like a, a real solid explanation for the reason that it's happening, but uh, it keeps happening. Yeah. We've got a, some opportunity next week to see a little bit of snow. And actually tonight, you guys, we're going to see snow. Not a okay. lot. Not, not a lot. Not a lot of snow, uh, but a little bit of snow. Do you guys want to talk about this Olympics forecast? Yeah. I'm ready. Oh, sure. Okay. okay. Oh, now let's you're, go. Okay, All good. right. Yeah. You guys. Okay. So we told you you're stuff. the boss. Yeah. <laughs> the Olympics <laughs> forecast. This is going to be for tomorrow in Beijing. Sunny, mostly sunny, somewhere between 35 and 40 degrees. All right. So nice weather uh, for Olympics tomorrow. Temperatures outside this morning in southeast Wisconsin, single digits to around 10. We've got some fairly light winds this morning, so not a big wind chill factor. Look at the difference in temperatures, though. Our 24 hour temperature change this morning compared to yesterday morning. It's a whole lot cooler this morning, anywhere from 20 to 25 degrees cooler. As we check in on Storm 4 Max, we've got clear skies across southeast Wisconsin. A couple of clouds as we look back to the west. We will see some increasing clouds today. We were talking about that snowfall deficit. Here's the numbers for February. We've seen just over three inches of total snow. The season, 15 and a half inches of snow. Average would be 35 inches. And last year, by this date, we had 44 inches of snow that had already fallen. We are now at about a 20 inch snowfall deficit. If we're lucky, we'll make up one inch of that tonight. Here's a look at future forecast again, starting out with clear skies this morning. Some increasing clouds as we head towards the middle of the day. Here comes the snow snow by 3 4 o'clock moving in around Fond du Lac and Dodge counties. That snow will continue to work its way south and east as we head through this evening. This is 5 5 30. I'm a little bit concerned with the timing for this snow. This is going to be for the evening commute or Friday evening plans for a lot of people. As this snow moves in, it's going to be heavy in some bands and we may actually see some snow squalls setting up. And those snow squalls uh, cause major problems for drivers, especially on the interstate. The visibility can drop just like that. So although we're not expecting a lot as far as snowfall totals, areas of heavy snow along with very strong winds. Those winds are going to be gusting 40, 50 miles an hour as this snow moves through, it moves in and it moves out relatively quickly. By 10 o'clock, the snow is out of here. Again, snowfall totals not very impressive here. Most of us end up with less than an inch of total snow. But again, the timing and the fact that we may see some bursts of heavy snow Along with those gusty winds, we're going to have to keep a very close eye on that as we head through later today. Increasing winds as we head throughout today, 34 for an afternoon high. And again, those winds are going to be picking up as we head through today. We will check in on your seven day forecast, talk more about how things look for next week coming up in a couple of minutes.